Hi everybody, I am Elkan Mamadli, uh, team lead of Cloud Seek at Alman Linux OS Foundation, also cloud engineer at Cloud Linux. Uh, since I'm new here, I would like to start what I was doing, the joining the Alman Linux OS Foundation. I was a system engineer uh, on the IBM Power System, uh, which involves uh, working with IBM AIX, the Unix for the power systems, hardware and virtualization stack of it, uh, Power VM. Uh, after my first contribution to the cloud images, uh, I also involved the other six uh, and projects at Alma Linux Foundation. Uh, one of them is automation of testing. So I'm gonna talk about our journey on it. I will start with what we had and the technologies we chose to increase the level of automation. Uh, then we see the challenges that came from these decisions and then how we managed to transform these challenges into a contribution to uh, enterprise Linux and the technology itself. Later I will talk about the goals. Uh, let's start. So what we had, um, when we uh, maintain this single uh, major version with a couple of architecture, uh, the level of automation uh, on the covers the uh, provision of testing system. So tester should use a checklist to, uh, to test the system. Uh, after the support for architecture and then grows and we introduce a new major version, Almanix 9, uh, we seek the ways to increase the automation on the testing. Initially, uh, we broke uh, the nature of our testing into two categories, uh, the GUI one, graphical interface, and non-GUI one. Uh, on the GUI one, we are testing installer, uh, the branding, font rendering, or any uh, visual glitch, uh, uh, and the graphical environment, uh, desktop manager, so on. On the uh, non-GUI part, we can count uh, our images, uh, cloud and containers uh, in this category and projects such as Elevate and Alma Linux Deploy. Uh, then we, uh, after some uh, some research, we came up to technologies for each category. Uh, OpenQA uh, for GUI-based test and test infra uh, for other type of tests. Uh, let me uh, give a brief introduction about these tools so to understand the logic behind these decisions. What's OpenQA? OpenQA is automated test tool which makes the whole installation of, uh, testing the whole installation of uh, press of operating system. Uh, it is created and maintained by SUSE, uh, written in Perl 5 program language and using some uh, well-known open source technologies. So it creates a uh, uh, KMU based VMs and uh, interact with the VMs as a tester does. After the each step, it uh, creates a snapshot of the screen and does a fuzzy image matching with the help of OpenCV library or OCR uh, based test with the help of Tesser Tesseract OCR. It also supports serial based tests. Uh, I try to visualize the main components of uh, OpenQA to easy to understand how it works. The left side, we see the server, and the right side, we see the workers on for the each architectures and VMs on it. On the server part, we have test API, which is responsible to running the test, and the REST and web UI. Uh, REST uh, API is uh, used for interaction, also automation to push the ISO images to testing, and the database to store the test results. Uh, then uh, I want to explain the core components of OpenQA. Actually, the uh, fancy stuff, the OpenCV, let's see how it works, really works. The, one of them, this main component is needles, uh, consists of two files, the PNG on the left side, basically screenshot of the screen, and the JSON file. Um, on the screen, uh, screenshot, you can see the uh, two green rectangle, we call it matching areas. G 
JSON uh, file the, on the right side help us to uh, define the position and size of these matching areas. I color them by the RGB to make it easy to point them. So let's start with the red one. Uh, the, the red one, the red matching area, which checks the Alma Linux. So this uh, green rectangle uh, defines the border of the test, visual test. Um, the green one, the green rectangle, uh, the test uh, name of the user. The difference here, uh, the test uh, one, the little smaller one has a uh, white dot on it, which means it has click points. So initially it tests the uh, existence of uh, test users, then click on the name of it uh, to proceed to enter the password. Uh, the last rectangle is a tag of uh, needle. Uh, one needle has, uh, can have uh, multiple uh, tags. Just remember the uh, second one, graphical underscore login, because we will use it in the next uh, core concept, uh, which is uh, test itself. Test uh, can be uh, written in Perl and Python. So after importing the test API, uh, we talked about uh, we just need to call the assert and click subroutine, uh, do the first uh, visual test, and the click the necessary click point. Uh, let me see it in action, show it in action. So that's a needle. Uh, that's a needle, how it looks to make sure if, if it really works. So uh, pay attention to the date here. Uh, and the time, so when I move the orange line, you can see only difference is the date and time, so which means it works. Uh, the screenshot is not the only way to store such results as artifacts. There's also uh, video recording available of this system. You see it enters the passport and the passes the test. Um, the next question we ask how to define all this position in the needle file. It is easy. It has a built-in needle uh, editor. So when we define a new matching area, it generates a JSON file for us. Well, so when we click the save, it does the testing. So next. Uh, so uh, which, which projects uh, trust OpenQA with the test? Uh, there's a well-known users, Suze and Fedora. Uh, I got the others with just adding OpenQA as a subdomain. Uh, probably there's uh, much more products uh, trust uh, OpenQA for their test. Uh, what's in test infra? Uh, the uh, main features of test infra has uh, several connection backends and modules. We use uh, local and Paramico for testing our cloud images, the Podman and Docker for testing container images and Ansible for the testing uh, infrastructure of us. Uh, and this test infra has a modules file to check in the also attribute of the file, what it contains, uh, package, the status of package uh, installed or not, user and group and services, uh, whether it is enabled, disabled uh, or running. Uh, the main feature of uh, test infra is a plugin of uh, PyTest, uh, which is uh, makes uh, which is a famous uh, test framework from the Python, uh, makes it easier to write the test and have a similar uh, familiar output. On the left side, the simple test uh, just uh, use the three model here, the file model. Uh, checks it is a password file, the package model to make sure Nginx is installed, and uh, checks the version of it, and the, uh, finally the service model to make sure it is running and enabled. On the right screenshot, we can see the output when we run it. Uh, so challenges we faced with OpenQA. Uh, RPM package wasn't available, neither from the system or not the third party repository, such as LRepo, RPM Fusion, and so on. 
because of virtualization stack in the enterprise Linux build and works differently, there was no support for us. So it was different that we can, we can find in open source and Fedora. And, uh, and this virtualization stack doesn't have the support for open queue backend uh, for ARM and PPC. The more general challenge, no SC9X support on the KMU backend of uh, OpenQA. Uh, and the other challenges from the, come from differences on the Indians, uh, Indianness, as you know, the SC9X big Indian uh, architecture. So we have three challenges here. Uh, first is uh, lack of support to serial device in the test API, which means we can run any serial based test. Uh, second, the colors are broken, which means the blocks are all visual tests. And uh, finally, uploading the art artifacts uh, to the web server, which probably is the little Indian, uh, Intel or ARM. On test infra side, we had a, a single sh uh, challenge so far. Uh, it was a lack of Almanic support in the package model. Uh, so, uh, how we managed to change, uh, transform these challenges into contributions, we build and maintain RPM packages uh, from upstream. Uh, we carefully picking the each uh, commit uh, to test in our staging instance, and then eventually to uh, upgrade our production instance too. Uh, it is available from the Almanix build system so it is easy uh, to add in the enterprise Linux uh, as a copper repo, as we see in the copper repo. Uh, so yeah, we added a virtualization stack uh, of support for virtualization stack of enterprise Linux uh, with ARM and PPC. Uh, then uh, add the SNITEC support to KMU backend of OpenQA. Uh, let's see what happened to the th three challenges we faced because of different Indians. Uh, that's the first one uh, related to VNC. Uh, that's the before on the left side, uh, which is, means uh, broken visual test. Uh, and the right side, the after, uh, in our uh, current Alma Linux version, uh, that we do the test. Uh, next one. Uh, yeah, you can see the uh, serial device name in the screenshot, which means we can uh, run the serial based test too. The final one is the uh, up uploading, fixing the uploading the artifacts. In the assets, the uh, second one it is a kickoff uh, format, is a VM image file of uh, installed and tested system, which uh, means user can download this file and test in uh, his uh, local machine. Yeah, all fixes merge to OpenQA upstream. So please pay attention to the bottom part of the screen uh, shot. So when we uh, create a pull request, we used our OpenQA instance the, as a proof of the work, proof that it works as a, as a test. Uh, because I can, I will come it later uh, when I talk the third wheel. Uh, we refuse to reinvent what you use. Uh, on the test infra side, uh, as I said, uh, we had only single uh, challenge and added open uh, Almanix uh, OS support to package model was enough for us to start using it. Uh, yeah, um, talking about the third, third bill, let me explain the situation we were in. Uh, after the POSDEM uh, last year, uh, we had uh, we see a great talk about the open QA and we are excited to test all my Linux there. Uh, but uh, we had very short amount of time to the next uh, release of Alma Linux betas. So while doing the, uh, the everything to make it usable, the open QA, we also needed to test. So instead of writing from the scratch, we base our test on the Alma Fedora one and 
uh, it worked very good. So I would like to thank to Adam Williamson, the team lead of uh, Fedora QA. And then uh, here uh, I used the, his uh, YouTube video about the Open QA when I was uh, trying to grasp the idea of grasp the idea of Open QA because it is very um, sophisticated tool. Uh, so yes, Almanix 8.8 and 9.2, I'm glad to share that, is, are the first releases we test on the all architectures and um, the, we also use the test infra for testing our cloud and container images and Elevate and Almanix deploy project, Elevate for migration between the major version and Almanix deploy for conversion between the enterprise Linux. Or uh, OpenQ instance publicly available uh, as a production and staging. Uh, when you see the running test, you can find me the struggling in the developer mode uh, to trying to build the new tests. Uh, or next goals, uh, if we break the, our journey in the two stage, uh, in the first stage we focused on the make things work. So uh, bring the open create to enterprise Linux. Uh, in the second stage we will uh, focus on the open, writing more open create test. And since we are, we introduced the support for EPL in or elevate the migration tool between the major version we are planning to uh, write more test infra tests uh, to make sure the migration is perfect. Um, you see that uh, OpenQ is available from our build system as a product, uh, which works as a copper repo. Uh, we are planning to create a separate uh, repository for that. Uh, third one is integration test infra with OpenQ, as I explained, the. As I show, we can run, run uh, some serial-based test, which uh, makes possible to run test infra inside OpenQ and store the results as screenshots or recording for later investigation. And of course, write more documentation about our journey, the, about the technique we are used. And that's it. Any question? Thank you for all the contributions. These are very good ones. Thank you. Um, my question is, um, do you have somewhere published the um, actual scenarios that you run in OpenQA? You mean the test, OpenQA test? Yeah. Yes, we have in the GitHub uh, namespace of Alma Linux. Uh, if you search for OpenQA just as a keyword, okay. you can see all tests and the source for the infrastructure as code. Great, um, thank you for that as well. Do you import some of the um, scenarios that Fedora runs already? Yeah, yeah, we do. I'm, yeah. I'm kind of interested if you do something with uh, Free APA. Do you test Free APA? Not yet. So we are planning to uh, enhance our infrastructure, open infrastructure, to cover uh, scenarios which involves a multi machine, uh, which means. Uh, creating the virtual network for it. So yes, uh, we are planning to focus uh, on the next rebase from the Fedora test and uh, extend the scenarios, test scenarios. So yeah, uh, free IPA is one of them, which is asked by, by users in the community. Okay, yeah. um, I would like to see any feedback on, on that process because I work it with Adam actually enabling oh, that's free IPA great. running it. Yeah. So, Please come. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Welcome. So, have you found a way that doesn't suck totally to, man uh, to, to manage all the web UI settings of OpenQA? And uh, by that I mean not click in the OpenQA web interface and preferably have them in Git. 
Um, I mean, stuff like the job groups, templates, machines. Uh, actually, we did. Uh, so why past? Yeah, instead of managing all staff uh, with buttons, uh, we are using YAML file, the, the declarative way, way to uh, manage these job groups. As you see, the, it is uh, separated by the pre-release version of Alma Linux and the architecture and the stable versions. And here's the YAML file, the declarative definition of uh, job group. And uh, that's the way we maintain it. Instead of uh, working with buttons, we store in our Git and just uh, push this YAML file through the REST API. And don't touch it uh, through the uh, web UI with the buttons because that's a way to maintain it, to, lost all, to not lose all changes. Uh, so yeah, that's a, that's a solution we found. I hope the answer is. Uh, yeah, but there's, there's other stuff. I mean, there's also machines, products, and I think a third one or so. Nice question. Uh, in machines, uh, we dump the uh, yeah, that stuff. Yeah, how how I managed? Uh, initially, I used the buttons, uh, not not live. But uh, after the using button, I get the dump of the configuration, uh, extract the machine part of it, and uh, get the dump as a JSON file and store it. So uh, instead of the editing JSON file from scratch, I have the first snapshot of my settings. As you see. Uh, we are using different settings than uh, Fedora and OpenSUSE. For example, uh, we are testing Secure Boot also in OpenQA, and it is really customized. Uh, so yes, the, initially we used the buttons to create machine definition for each architecture, uh, then dump the, all the configuration as JSON, and yeah, taxes change the over JSON. So when we have a new change, we add the, to the JSON file, and thanks to REST API to push it back, and this is in the web UI. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. So, do you share any logic between Test Infra and OpenQA? Because it seems like using two completely different projects just yeah. because OpenQA doesn't do the non UI stuff pretty well is not a great solution because there's got to be a lot of stuff that's the same between the non UI based tests and the UI based tests right uh, of course the um, the question why we choose different uh, technologies so we can run the non UI test inside openqa did i answer the question yeah i mean is openqa would it be possible at all to use over, uh, openqa for the non UI based tests as well and if not why what's the problems with it that's a nice question uh, with openqa yes we can test the cloud images uh, if it's generic cloud but if i want to test aws azure and other images in this case we use some infrastructure as code tool to create the instance from this image and use the ssh backend which is implemented in paramico with the test infra to connect this instance to check the status of instance to make sure, for example, machine IDs is unique after the instance creation, all the SSH host keys are unique. Uh, so that's the idea. We are using test infra for that. And on the other projects, the uh, Elevate and Almonix deploy, we are using Vagrant to create VMs, let's say CentOS 7 VMs and do the migration to Almanix 8 or Almanix to Almanix 9. After the migration, we run, run the test infra, uh, test infra through the SSH uh, backend, connection backend, do the all the necessary testing. Uh, so yeah, as I said, we can use the test infra inside the uh, OpenQA uh, because we have some test inside the OpenQA, uh, the test OS release file to make sure uh, the uh, cat names in the release is has no typo in it. Uh, so, uh, yes, but uh, it is not fast as a test infra, you know. Uh, I can show some example in, in, uh, from our uh, uh, OpenK instance later. Uh, 
so yeah, if you have a bunch of tests, which is non-GUI, you can uh, use OpenQA as the ex executor of test infra. So yeah. <coughs> Any questions? <coughs> 